Hey guys, this is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Welcome back to Clownfish TV. Hello. And we're going to do a little uh, fun little exercise, I guess. We're going to talk about world building, naming your characters, yes. naming your worlds, uh, naming your characters dogs, naming your characters Right. People gerbils. keep asking us questions about how do you make comics, how do you name things. That naming things comes up a lot. So we thought, well, hey, we're going to do a little video talking about where we count with names from, where we know some names have come from. Um, ways that you can name different things. Yeah, everybody needs a name. Everything needs a name. Everything this, needs a name, yeah. This, this little guy here, this is Naming Way from Final Fantasy IV, and he was a little character that would, uh, if you wanted to rename your characters, you could talk to Naming Way, and uh, I thought it was appropriate, because I don't know what else to pull up. I mean, for you know, a video talking about naming characters, like, I don't... Or naming places or things or right, whatever. Right, right. So where should we start? Okay, well, let's start... Um, with different ways you can name your characters. And, well, I'm going to ask you a couple questions about ways, because some of our names in our book actually came from a previous incarnation that you had had. Right. For uh, Shadowbinders. So, like, for example, Shadowbinders. Where did you come up with the name Shadowbinder? Uh, it's so weird, because everybody's like, oh, my God, it came from Game of Thrones. We, we do a webcomic called Shadowbinders. We've done it for about eight years now. Uh, people think that the name came from Game of Thrones. Actually, the, the original comic idea predates Game of Thrones by... Uh, the least show, a decade, anyway. yeah. The show by a decade, and I'd never actually read the books, so I was, you know, I, I never heard of it. Um, I actually got the name from a, a gun, a vintage gun uh, called a Shadowbinder, and I'm actually trying to track it down. I just thought it was a very cool name, and uh, the original version of the comic had very little to do with the final version. Now, there's a couple the characters that were crossed over, like Winston crossed over, and I asked you where you got Winston from, because I was thinking like Ghostbusters or something like that, but no. No, I always wanted a pet bulldog, and I always told myself if I ever got a pet bulldog, I'd name him Winston because he looks like Winston Churchill, because bulldogs look like Winston Churchill, and and so I'm like, well, he's kind of like a, the dog of the group, so you I'll name him Winston. Winston. Yeah. The other, and the other name we, we a couple other names we used was uh, Sid. Right. And you got Sid from. Uh, Sid, I actually got from Sid Barrett from from Pink Floyd. He was the original uh, lead singer of Pink Floyd, and, then and he we went used, crazy. And then... We used Barrett then for Tristan's last name, right. is Tristan Barrett. So Sid Barrett is actually in Shadowbinders in pieces, right? He's like split in two. Yeah, but it looks like the original Sid that you had drawn mostly. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, True North. Where did you get the True North from? Uh, the True North. Yeah, that's the uh, the airship in the comic, and the True North. Um, I just thought it sounded cool. It sounded like a it sounded like a good name for a ship. Okay. So I don't really have any I don't have anything else. In comparison, that. how I found names for when we did this current incarnation of the comic was like for the characters, I basically made a list of names uh for girls and for boys that I thought you know, I wanted to pick different names I thought were, you know, and then I said them out loud or and I narrowed it down for the main characters either gonna be Mia or Alex. You know, I had a whole list of girls' names. Those two seemed to, to me they felt like the right names. And it was actually before Mia was so popular, by the way. And um, when I actually am using both of those names for characters, but Mia had one. And then Ren, um, actually, my, my brother had a friend whose last name was Ren, but it was uh, it was spelled differently. Mm -hmm. And I always thought Ren was a cool name. So I had a list of them. And then I forget. I knew we wanted to make him red, like his color being red, because he's very he uses a lot of reds and me uses a lot of blues. Yeah. But uh, I forget how he kept crimson. I think it just it sounded piratey. I'm trying to remember. I think when we draw originally it was just gonna be Ren, and then we were like, well, that sounds kind of like a piratey. You had an airship, yeah. and it sounds like a piratey name. Like R gets Crimson Ren. And, you know? and some of our names um, of characters came from family members. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I can think of three off top four off top of my head that are named. I'm not gonna say who, because I don't want to make anybody mad by saying who. But we have four named after family members. Of course, you know. Tristan was named after Squid King, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but four of the characters uh, were named after family uh, members. And But I'm just saying, my point is, you can get names from all different kinds of places. You can get names from people you know, from things you know. I know, for example, I'm not trying to bring this up again, but I know, for example, um, Kevin Anderson, um, who writes a lot of Star Wars books, he uh, t told me in a letter that he actually collects names when he hears something unusual or a, a name he likes, he writes it down to use later. Hence, why I was in Star Wars books because he liked my name and he thought it was unusual and he saved it. So, you know, he hears names that are unusual to him and he reuses them. So, I mean, there's all kinds of, all kinds of ways 
to get cool names. Yeah, and I think with writers in particular, especially when you're dealing with you know something like Star Wars, where you've got so many secondary characters, mm -hmm. like you're probably you know, and you want the names to, to be kind of exotic. You know, that most of the Star Wars, you don't have too many Bills in Star Wars or Freds. You know? Right, right. So you want to have these exotic sounding names. You probably do keep track of my names in Star Wars. My brother's names in Star Wars. They mm -hmm. haven't got my sister in there yet. No. But my brother's name's actually Galen. It's spelled yeah. differently, but it's Galen. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, they they haven't got my sister in there yet. Um, Ryloth. Wasn't Ryloth in, like, Last Starfighter or something? Wasn't, where have I heard that before? Ryloth. I've heard that before somewhere from a sci-fi movie prior to this. Anyway, I just saw Ooh. it on there, Ryloth. I'm like, that sounds familiar. Uh, maybe it wasn't that. But anyway, so my point is that you can get, you can get uh, inspiration from all the different places. The other thing I do to make up names, especially for places, because places is kind of hard, is I went to, I gave you the link, not that one, that one. I went to places like baby names, and you look up <laughs> yeah, know, meaning right? of names. And so what I do, for example, I put in rock, and the first one that comes up is Audrey, and we have Audrey Islands in ours, and sometimes I'll change the spelling a mm. bit. Sometimes I'll mash two things together, like if I want to look up something that's the name of a place and say it's, it's like white city, I might type in white, mm. Just for example, I wouldn't see them sit together. Just say, you know. Well, let's just see if we have them together. Uh, no, no, I, I don't, don't want to answer this. Never mind. But like, I would type in, you know. Uh, I can edit this. I type in like, I'm not gonna let you do it. Just answer the stupid question. Like, I would come in and maybe I'd see like, uh, example. Um, I might like a couple of these. If I'd say them out loud, I might like Oliver or something. Mm. And then I would look up another word, maybe meant city or something. And then somehow I'd mash them together to I come up with a really cool name. That's not something you recognize instantly. Like I use foreign names from that had roots in other countries and I'd mash them together. So you get some unique name that actually had a meaning um, that meant what it was. I did this. For, I even did this for the one alcoholic drink. I forget what I used to, to, to <laughs> when I looked up. I don't think I looked yeah. up alcoholic. But I, um, I even made up the one drink name based on uh, this. So if I need a name for a city, uh, a realm, I think Bellator even came from this. I forget what I searched. But yeah, I, th I think it did. That's actually the world from, from our comic. But, you know, these kind of sites are a great, great resource. If you really can't think of something, you're stumped, you know, just kind of start right. with a base. And, Plus and you can find that. names that are very foreign to you that you can mash together. And the meaning of names is good because it's really, really hard to find a lot of generators baby name they want you to like give you what they want you to give them the name they'll tell you the meaning mm -hmm. this place you can give them a meaning and it will give you the names so um oh yeah i do this all the time most almost all the things that are named in our comic come from this bilko uh, that's how i mean that's <laughs> how i get means white <laughs> i think merrick came from this all yeah, those names i think I came from um from the from mashing them up so either came from people we knew uh, names you had previously from mm -hmm. different things that meant something to you. And then this is how I generate most of the worlds. But go ahead. Well, speaking of which, if you want to talk about uh, random world name generators. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, there are some other sites out there. Now, this is uh, meaningofnames.com, meaning-of-names.com. Uh, but there are other sites that are actually uh, kind of fun if you go out here. They are here. fun. Um, this one is uh, fantasy name generator, uh, fantasynamegenerators.com. And just get realm names. You can just click. Sli I can't pronounce it. Sliorriola. That sounds like a. Custratal. That sounds like a dirty part. Sagathar. Sagathar. Ox Oxyogen. Oxyogen. Teodivar. The Mirror Sea. Okay, Mirror Sea's night. Spirit Lake. The Final Sanctuary. The Maroon Plain. And the Sanguine Earth. I like the All Reach. That sounds like All Might. Yeah, the Which, All Reach. The Oblivion Realms. The Oblivion the Realms, the miniature field. realms. Were the there. Portal They're, Dominion. Very tiny people live there. Uh, Shadow Country, Ghost Sanctum. I just want to find some really like cool. Delusional Forest. That the Migrating like, Veil. I think Twitter's a Delusion Forest. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> the Obscure Dominion, the Onyx Territories, and the Jade Province. The Twin Region. The boiling yonder. Oh, oh my god. god. The boiling yonder. This I want to live in the boiling yonder. But that's the way you describe some kind of really interesting, uh, you know, itch or something that you have. 
I got some pan in the boiling yonder. In the boiling yonder. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, these kinds of sites can be good. And again, the names can be used for comics. They can be used for your uh, role playing game campaigns. If you're you know, going I a mean, cart, you're into some animation. Right. I mean, anything that requires uh, you know making names, and it's it's hard. It's hard to you know think of names. Uh, you know, again, we have here's another one uh, name dash. Let's generator try by. this. This sounds like fun. Let's oh, use one of our God. characters and see what they would have named it. How many examples would you like? Let's ten. do ten. Let's just let's do, let's do Mia. So let's do female. Okay. Okay. What's your character's title, Miss? Yes, Master Cute Flavor. Flavor. Wait. Wait, Flavor, human, zombie, vampire, or witch and wizard? Okay, she's a human. Okay. okay. What types of char character is she? She is <laughs> evil, virtuous, virtuous. Birthier. Just put any. Yeah. I have 1990. Okay. How would you describe his or her nationality? It is American. American. How would you describe his or her parents' nationalities? I don't American. Know. American. American. Mer American. They're Merca. all Americans. Um, which best describes your character's religious background? I have no idea. <laughs> Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> she's a Jedi. No, no, she's not. We're trying no, to do a real character. Probably don't just know. Christian. Or don't know. Okay. Don't know. Not um, the above. There we go. Okay. Popularity. I don't, I don't think don't it really care. matters. I don't care. Random. I don't care. Just give me some names. All right. Let's, let's see, see what we got. Let's see what we got. Miss Elizabeth Stewart. Libby. Why? Mm. 1990. Why is Hagen Spanish? Okay. Nicole M Williams. Nikki. Miss Sarah Johnson. Miss Jennifer Jones. Miss Samantha Brown. Miss Stephanie Davis. Miss, Miss Rachel Smith or Smithy. Miss Heather Moore, Miss Lauren Wilson. These all sound like Twilight characters. Or Miss Amy Garcia. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do the boy. Oh, man. These let's are, do okay. Ren. Okay, so let's, okay, let's do, do what happened we did Ren. Okay, so what gender male? What's your character's title? Yes. Master. Master. That's about right. Master. Master. What kind of not virtuous great leader? Sure. 1985. He's not that much older. That's okay. Would you describe his nationality? Well, they're none of the above because well, he's British. Yeah, we, we always think he sounds British in our mind. So we'll just we do don't, British. Yeah, we don't know. Um, sure. Sure. Uh, uh, to, can, is loving yourself a good enough religion? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, okay. Don't Did you put mage down as a? We put human. You could pick a mage. He's, Witch or wizard? There yeah, we go. Okay, master. There, here we go. Okay, so master let's try mage. Okay. master mage. So we were gonna use this. What kind of name would we have got from Ren? Uh, Master, Master Eric, Eric Brown. Brown. Yeah, that sounds like a what? Ma Master Richard Moore or Rick? Rick Moore? I mean, what what kind of mage is Rick Moore? And Master that's not assaulting someone named Rick Moore who avenges themselves. No, but that's not a mage name. Uh, Jamie, Jamie Jamie Harris. Jack John White Jack. David Roberts Die. What? Die's kind of cool. Die Robert Roberts. Phillips. Bobby Phillips. <laughs> Master Mage. William Hill. William Hill. Ryan Edwards. Brian Collins. Andrew Adams. Okay, no. Uh, so forget this site. What else do we got? <laughs> so then, Screw this. This Here's one's kind of one. funny. Character name generator for creative writers. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just hit. Okay, female generate name. Miriam yeah. Rector. Miriam Rector? Miriam Rector. Oh my god, what would Miriam Rector look like? None. Uh, Charlotte O'Reilly. We got Kiera Leinberger, Linda Kahn, Sandy Holverson. Let's try dudes. Uh, Howard Ashcroft. I think there actually is a Howard Ashcroft. I'm sure that most of these names, there's somebody out Logan there. Logan Bourne. Oh, that sounds like a that sounds like a dirty book name. Really? Yeah. Like I was one thinking of those... Bourne Identity. I wasn't thinking dirty book name. Logan Bourne. He was a tall cowboy from Australia. <laughs> Um, Tyler Bowen, Howard Florentine, he's an interior decorator. Uh, Vaughn Breckenridge, that guy sounds like a dick. <laughs> Leopold Warwood. <laughs> Hell, I don't even know what this guy does for a living. Ace York, oh my god, Ace, Ace York. York. Ace York, that's, that's like, like, you know, I don't know what that is. Ace York Private Eye. Oh, that's what I was thinking, like a PI. Jeffrey Rouser, oh my god, Ronald Rectal. Re Rectal? Peter Lovely. Oh my god, Peter Lovely. Who wouldn't want to hang out with Peter freaking Lovely? Uh, Aiden O'Reilly. Blaze Adcock. Aiden Blum. <laughs> Zeke Rouser. Okay, now these are guys. You, you tell me. These are like YA, like young adult. No, lit that, sounds, that, or, sound, that sounds like MA. Yeah, not or. Not safe for work. Then. Or, you know, uh, Mama's Dirty Books. I got, oh, I got to tell you a funny story about 30 books real quick. So, 
<laughs> Valentino <laughs> Powell. Wait, we got Lamber the- Bone. <laughs> wait, wait, we got the Lam- book story. Okay. Hold on. Tell the dirty so, book story. So, my grandma. I love my grandma. God, God bless her. My grandma. She passed away a couple years ago. I love my grandma. Anyway, my grandma liked the books. She liked her books. She did. <laughs> Like, she left behind a stack of books. Well, no, we were having a garage sale. It was before she passed away. We were having a garage sale. And she had sent some books over to put in the garage sale. So if we're just kicks and giggles, Neon just pulls the book open, finds one of those parts, and starts reading it out loud. I thought my mom was going to pee herself. <laughs> she Worst was laughing so hard. ever. I think it involved a washing machine. Was it? I don't remember. And a bored housewife. It was yeah, very, very graphic. It was very and, graphic. And I'm like, and she bought this at Walmart? And this in front of my mother and my <sighs> sister and me. And he's just like, nothing ever happened. He's reading it, making voices. And uh, <laughs> I just started howling. My sister felt really, uh, she was like, I'm leaving now. They and were uncomfortable mom, books to read. My mom yeah. was just laughing until she could, she was about peed herself. It was oh so funny. And then I'm like, and this is what grandma's reading. <laughs> so Lambert Bone. We're going to start a comic series called Lambert Bone. We're trying to give Lambert, I think of Lambert the sheepish, sheepish lion. Kevin Winters. Bo Bowden. Bo Bowden. Bobo. Victor Powell again. Bobo. Zachary Dorsey. Why are you just picking on men? Why are you picking on women? Well, he's, I don't know. Brenda, Brenda Bish. Bish. Nikki McDonald. These Olivia are boring. Riley. These are all boring. Melissa, Melissa Jackson. Jackson. Marilyn Brown. There's no, like, there's no fun names for women. Elsa Arnett. Yeah, Casey Rommel. None of these are good. Magda Wosley. Magda Wosley. Mar- uh, no. Mary Ellen Sanders. Daniel Ashcroft. No, no. See, the guys have awesome foster hair. <laughs> It's not your original hair. It's foster hair. <laughs> you, ha- you had to you had to take it off of somebody else's hands and put it on your head. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's, you know, these other Be a Better Writer with Pearl Luke. I think she generated her name, too, uh, here. So, Be a Better Writer at uh, BeABetterWriter.com. Again, you can get more um, names. It said aim for interesting name combinations. But don't get too weird. Velvet sounds more like a horse than a person. And Crystal Chandra Lear is just silly. Keep your actually, there was somebody real. named it was Chandelier, and there actually was somebody named Chandelier. Just so you know, yeah, and I know you we went to school with a Chandelier. That wasn't me. My mom did. Oh, we also had a uh, what was the other person? And it was a uh, there was a Ma- Maxine like Pad or something. My brother's Maxine class, Pad. and oh, he was God. like, and he was like, gosh, she got picked on. So uh, this other site we pulled up behind the name.com, you can find a list of fictional characters and where they came from. Oh. I'm sorry, I was thinking of another name. My aunt, my uncle sold insurance once, and this person called the house and said she was Mrs. Harry Hips. And my aunt told her, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Uh, um, and then, of course, you know, you can always look up stories. You can always look up stories of how other creative types came up with really creative names like He-Man. Because uh, we talked about He-Man Shira here. He-Man basically uh, came about because Roger Sweet. You went too far. Go I back did. Up. I did. I did. I did. Right okay. There. According to Roger Sweet, the only way uh, I was going to have a chance to sell this uh, to Mattel was make 3D models big ones. I, I glued a big gym figure from another Mattel toy line to battle action pose, add a lot of clay to his body, blah, blah. They had three prototypes. I simply explained that this is a powerful figure that could be taken anywhere and dropped into any context because he had a generic name, He-Man. Yeah, because at first they didn't know if He-Man was going to be a barbarian, a soldier, a space guy. It didn't matter. He's He-Man. He was freaking He-Man, and he's been kind of like all the above. Um, I mean, freaking Spider-Man. It's a man dressed like a spider. Spider-Man. Easy to remember. I always think it's funny when you hear these people's names, because they always sound like two last names. It always, you know what uh, I mean? Yeah, like all of the, all of the uh, you know, especially DC, you have... Lois Lane, Lex Luthor, Lana, Lana Lane, you know, Lang, yeah. you have, um, you know, Clark Kent. It always has to, like, rhyme. It sounds Pete, like a superhero name. Peter Parker. So we could come up with, like... Um, well, Clark Kent doesn't rhyme. Just well, saying. yeah, but it's got the <laughs> seats now. Clark Kent. You're not Dr. Seuss. No, I'm not Dr. Seuss. I'm terrible. Uh, you're more like, uh, what was one of those terrible names we read? More like you're more like, you're more like Or a Bobo. You're more like the Bobo. <laughs> I'm a Bobo. <laughs> um... Anyway, sorry. So anyway, people ask us all the time, well, how do you come up with names uh, for characters, for worlds, for objects? You know, it's just like, you could ask 10 different people and get 10 different answers. Um, Just make that, make it up. That's how we do. I mean, but we don't make up, but we we do. But I mean, we're just telling you how we did for our comic, um, in case you haven't seen it, it's Shadowbinders at shadowbinders.com. This is how we came up with the names we came up with. 
it just it's and then say them out loud when you think you have a name i mean you don't say it out loud for other people because they think you're weird like don't just randomly walk into walmart and start yelling out random names but like in your own room by yourself um that's not weird at all <laughs> that is not weird start at saying all names to see what your mom does no just oh say the names God. out loud and see which one seems to fit the character seems to uh sound the best to you and then go from that and then you know um you have any suggestions because you used to name stuff no, nah, just whatever sounds good. I mean, whatever sounds good, whatever rolls off the tongue, whatever seems to stick. Now, you might want to look up, uh, depending on whether or not you have an international audience, make sure your name isn't something offensive in oh, another language. Yeah, we kind of, we did, not in another language, but we did that with one character. We did? Yeah, I remember everybody's had a fit because one of his name's the... Uh, oh, no, because his name, yeah, but that's not a big That's deal. a real name! Yeah, I know it's a real name. The one character's name is Gaylord, and er apparently that means <laughs> bad things. We were but there's a Gaylord hotel chain. Right, right. There's Gaylord, there's different kinds of Gaylords. Oh, in, God, in we got so much in, hate over that. In, Gaylord. Like, TV shows and different things, but Gaylord. And I'm like, they thought we were being mean. I'm and like, he, he was a little dweeby he's dude. He's a little point extra... Dilly, Dweeb, and that's we the point. thought, you know, Gaylord was kind of like, because we're thinking, you know, also, you know, like, meet the Fockers, a like Gaylord Fokker was, yeah. you know, and he was just kind of a dork, and he looked, he looked like a Gaylord, and we never, we never, you know, expected to be like a, it wasn't like it meant to be a slur or anything, my god, we got so many comments like, how dare you make fun of gay people, and name your characters the, this awful, I'm like, that's not making fun of gay people, it's like, it wasn't, it's an actual name, do you want proof, we'll show you the proof, and people were just like, god, they're so touchy. Yeah, so, so touching. You might want to so watch that one. Don't, just do, watch don't it. make the mistake we made because apparently that's a big no-no. Um, but his name's still Gaylord. Yeah, but some some movie titles. He's the Gaylord. For, yeah, yeah I know. some movie titles have been changed overseas uh, because the you know the, the 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 movie titles meant something in another language mm -hmm. and and they just didn't want to go there, so they just changed the the name. So um, well, Solo wasn't it wasn't Star Wars. It was uh, Ranger Ranger Solo. Ranger Solo because they don't like Star Wars and they don't like China Star Wars in China. So People try to show. argue, but they they really they don't, don't like Star so Wars in China. It to Ranger so. Solo, and <laughs> um, so yeah, so keep that in mind too if you want to go. to different audiences but i mean just you know if, you, if you're trying to think of a cool like you know tool in your thing and you want to think you want to think of a name for it just use some of these like if it means like you know you, you have a hammer you want to call it like hard metal or something look up mm. words that mean hard look up words that mean metal you know use one of those or mash them together and you can come up with something really cool you wouldn't have thought of or if you hear an interesting names write them down um anything else no, that's about it. Just really, just you know, just write things down. Uh, you know, uh, sound it out. Uh, you know, take notes. I mean, if if you're know you're going to be creating something, or you're going to be you know a creative person, you're going to be creating things in the future. You know, keep a little notebook and jot mm -hmm. stuff down, or use your uh, use your phone to jot down some notes. I, I think you can get too complicated too. Be careful. Oh, yeah. It's something yeah. people can say. I mean, you you see these names sometimes, and it's like I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to touch that. Yeah. Uh, what? You know, like some of those fantasy names, uh, you go back to the fantasy name generator, the realms, the realm oh, name God. generator. Oh, God, okay. I mean, some of these names you can't even pronounce. Can you, I mean, I'm a mimicar. I still have the boiling yonder. I am, I am Ivar. I am Ivar. Jagrosis. Proto, Proto Garth. And, uh. The injured world. Eugether. So, I mean. Flixiops. Yes. Either they the sound hell? cool, or make sure there are ways people there are way people can pronounce it, or somehow explain the pronunciation in your story. Yeah. Um, so you know, because sometimes people see these and they'll be like, I, 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 I got nothing, and then they're like, I'm not wanting to read this because what the hell? Cuckligar. But the, yeah. The, I'm sorry, I got a bad case of the Cuckligar. Cuckligar. Um. So anyway, <laughs> we're gonna. Uh, is there anything else you want to add to no, this? No, no. I'm just trying to you know give people some ideas about. You know where they can go to get this. It's not that hard, people. It, mm. it just you know, pull from your pull from your friends, fr friends, pull from your friends, pull from your friends, your family, people you know, uh, names that you always like thought were cool growing up. You know, people that you looked up to, like you looked up to different singers and you used their name. You know, things like that. You know, it's not it's not that difficult. Yeah. You're just like yeah. Yeah, it's it's really not. Um, but you can't use neon because I said so. Yeah, you've had that. Well, somebody else has it. Just now, be like they? Billy Joel. Be like Billy Joel and Don Rosa, and and trademark your name. Billy Joel, literally Billy Joel and Don Rosa both uh, trademark their names, so people couldn't use it without permission. Oh. So there you go. That's weird. But got okay. a good idea. You gotta you gotta get on that. You gotta yeah, trademark. Yeah. So I gotta trademark my name, even though they there already used it for Star Wars. Yeah. Now, so they probably have a trademark on it, but it's still my name first. I have the letter to prove it. There you so, go. Anyway. So um, I don't have anything else. I think I'm done. I think we're good. Yes. So we're so gonna go out there, make your stuff. Make your stuff. Name go, it cool things. Name it cool things. 
Don't don't name it weird things. Don't, don't be an echo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're gonna wrap this one up. Subscribe to Clownfish TV for more pop culture news, more gaming videos, more uh, videos on making things, making your own stuff. We're gonna try to do more of that on this channel. Uh, this has been Neon and Geeky Sparkles. Yes, that's me. And we're gonna talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>